Hi, this is Hank Hanegraaff, president of the Christian Research Institute and host of the Bible Answer Men broadcast with another Hank Unplugged short. I woke up early this morning, got into my car, drove to work, and I heard a piece on PETA, the People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals. And they are in a rage over the World Series. Why? Because the Atlanta Braves and the Houston Astros are are playing one another and they have, well, they have pitchers warming up in what is called the bullpen. And from their perspective, the bullpen is a term that is insensitive. It's insensitive to cows. So they want to change the phrase bullpen to arm barn. Well, as ridiculous as that may seem, I think it raises the bigger question, and that is, what are organizations like PETA up to in the first place? Well, they want to elevate animals to the status of human beings. And some, in fact, like uh, bioethics professor Peter Singer, want to go even further in elevating chimpanzees above the value of newborn children, at least children that happen to be disabled. This, of course, is horrifying. Human beings are created in the Imago Dei, in the image of God. And that ought to ensure that a Down syndrome child is afforded the same dignity that is afforded to a professor like Peter Singer. Richard Dawkins, the, well, the noted evolutionist, he may suggest that human beings have no more intrinsic value than bananas, but he's dead wrong. Humans are the apex of God's creation. And there are others who are also dead wrong. Not just physicalists, people who think that the physical facts fix all the facts, but the PETA people. The PETA people who ascribe to an animal the personhood reserved for a child a predilection that is both wrong-headed and ridiculous. Now, I am committed to the virtuous treatment of animals. It's an ethical imperative. But we, as human beings, are created in the image of God and as such are special. And as special people created in the image of God, we are commissioned to treat non-human life with the same care and consideration that God affords to us. Just as he is our protector, we are to be their protectors. So while we may, may eat lamb as our Lord did during Passover celebrations, We must never treat lambs in a way that dishonors their creator. In essence, what I'm saying is that a primary precept of biblical theology is that animals occupy a special role in the hierarchy of creation. And while we must never supplant human exceptionalism for animal equality, were nonetheless called to the ethical treatment of animals. Remember, as they populated paradise in the past, they will most certainly populate paradise restored. At any rate, all these thoughts going through my mind as a result of hearing that PETA, the People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, are now elevating animals to the status of humans, but are doing all kinds of other ridiculous things, including wanting to change bullpen or other terms that are used in the province of professional sports 
because somehow or other they're insensitive, in this case, insensitive to cows. And so again, they want to take bullpen and make it armbar. Ridiculous, but so is the organization itself. Thanks for tuning in.